Ah, hello! It is I, Waggy, and good day, good day to you, and welcome back to the channel, Northworthy Sagas and Stories. Now, I am your host of the day, and as you know, I am a Viking, and I am also a warrior, and a poet, a Viking scold. And today I am here to talk to you about a very famous Viking scold whose name is Braggy Buddison the Old. He was also known as Braggy Ngamli Buddison. And he was a very famous poet. Now, Braggy Buddison was the oldest known scold whose works we know of. He was also known as Braggy Buddison the Old, for he lived to a very grand age, so it is said. And this poet, well, he composed poetry in the 9th century, possibly in Norway. Though sources do not allow us to get any closer dating to when Braggy wrote his poetry, which is a shame. Now, in the list of the Skulls, and there is one, it is called the Skull Datal from the 12th and the 13th centuries, Braggy Bardesson is said to be a poet of the Swedish king Austin Belli. A king will make a video on. He was also the scold of the Swedish king Bjorn at Haugi. And I do hope I'm pronouncing that right. Pronunciation is something we often struggle on on this channel. But just bear with us. Now, he was also of being said to have been a scold, a poet, of the King Byrne of Birka when Braggy visited him. And the King, King Byrne of Birka was also visited by Saint Anska in around 830 AD. And a saint we will make a video on and talk about in the future. Now, by this time, Braggy is said to have already have been a grown man at around the time when St. Asker visited King Byrne of Birka. And from Icelandic sources, from the Lannamasbok and Egil saga, which he is included in, their genealogies suggested he lived between 835 and 900 AD. Although, to be truthful, we'll probably never know the dates of his birth and death. And that is sad, but that is just history. It happens. And now, he was also rumoured and said to have been a court poet to Ragnar Lofbrok. But that is speculation. And we'll talk about that in another video on Ragnar Lofbrok, for he was a very interesting character. And Braggy was recognised and celebrated in the Middle Ages as being the first of the scolds, the first of the Viking poets, and is also extremely likely that the poet Braggy, my namesake as you very well know, is identical to the Viking god Bragi, the god of poetry. As such, he became a mythical figure a mere 100 years after his death. And that alone is a very good legacy for the man, for we are talking about him now, 1100 years later. Will somebody be talking about me in 1100 years? Well, I don't know, I won't be around. But uh, I would like to think so. And this is partly why we are doing and making this channel. Now, from the famous Icelandic 
collector of the sagas, Snowy Sterlinson, in his Edda, he quotes 20 and a half stanzas from Braggy's Ragnar's Drapper. I read that many years ago, but and I, I remember it being excellent and very entertaining. And perhaps you would like me to read it on camera to you, because there's no way, no way I could remember that. Uh, I'm more than happy to read it to you on camera. It is a very interesting 20 and a half stanzas. And the Ragnar's Drapper is a poem composed in honour of the famous and the legendary Ragnar Lofbrok, a shield poem which tells of legendary and um, mythological scenes depicted on a shield. I find that to be fascinating, that a shield would depict these stories from mythology. And these images include Thor's fishing for Jormungander, the mighty serpent, a brilliant tale, one I will promise I will tell. And also he talked about Gefjund's ploughing of Zealand from the soil of Sweden. I am not over familiar with that story, but I do have it down for a content idea. And in the Ragnar's Drapper, he also talked about the attack of Hamdir and Sorli against King Jormundrich. That is a very interesting tale, one I will tell. And of course, he finally talked about the never-ending battle between Hedin and Hogni. Now, I'd like to imagine a never-ending battle, and I'd love to be there to see it. But I'll be there forever. And it must have been a great story and a great tale to have been told back all those hundreds of years ago. Now in the saga, Landernamsbach Bragi was also invited to a visit by Ljöf Vina, the wife of the king of Hadjur of Hoeland. And this is where Bragi recognises her dark-skinned sons as the rightful heirs to their father's throne in place of their fair-skinned son of a thrall she had to use to replace her progeny. That is another interesting story and one we will look into in the future. And let's just talk about Skold. What is a Skold if you don't know? Well a Skold is a poet who composed or recited poetry in the courts of the leaders and the rulers of Scandinavia and they would recite either Old Norse poetry or Eddic poetry and at some point me and Egil will make a video talking about skulls and what they did and we also hope in the future to be telling and reciting Viking poetry to you and making our own up I'm looking forward to doing that. That's going to be fascinating. So, for now, I do hope you enjoy this video. It took me a while to get this one filmed. Sometimes they do. And if you have liked it, then please leave a comment. And if you are new to the channel, then first of all, I'd like to say welcome. And secondly, I'd like to say, well, please subscribe but also click on the notification bell by doing that you'll always be notified when we publish when we premiere but also when we live stream and until the next time you see me in either a folk tale or a historical video it is goodbye goodbye and I thank you and good health to all those that watch. Was hail. Ik thank you thee. I thank you. Ha ha ha. I don't know why I did that laugh.
Some days you do strange things during these videos. You may have noticed. <laughs> this is a big old horn. The horn of Tyrkia. Thorkelson.